Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, The Adventures of Bigger Stickers, Julius Nepos. I just did the world's longest intro. You know what? I'm re-recording it because nothing happened. Here we go. We are trying to put a horse on the throne of China because why? A, I've never done it before. I've never been to war with China, that is. B, I've not put a horse on the throne of anywhere. Uh, I feel like that should be fairly obvious. And C, what else is A? Did I do 1, 2, and C? I'm not sure. Julius Nepos really has nothing left to do. He's 227 years old. He's a drunkard. He's a lunatic. He's possessed. He's arbitrary. And he is still infallible to the eyes of his vassals, except apparently not at all. Oh, Jesus. Domain too big. Okay. Let me fix that. Then we'll be unfallible in the eyes of our vassals. As I was saying, infallible. Oh, my God. Mostly infallible in the eyes of his vassals, despite the fact that he has previously eaten a man entirely. In fact, I think he's eaten a few men entirely. Um, what's up with you guys? Want to sit on the council? Um, crazy cannibal, obviously. No murderer, naturally. We will send you a Roman gift of Roman gold. There we go. You now like me. Well, you don't, but you will eventually. Everybody likes Julius Nepos. You know what? Most of our vassals like us, and that's all that matters. Um, where are we looking at before people start really disliking us? Almost, I would say that's like 14, 15th out of the list there. And obviously, a lot of these guys we can bribe as well. Admiral of our fleet, we should probably keep him on side, seeing as uh, quite like to go places on a boat. What about you? Do you want anything? Nope, we're good. Right. Realm is managed. Children are educated. Children are now educated. Children are... Oh my god, why have we got so many kids? Um, How many more kids have we had since I last checked? Oh my god, we've got hundreds of the fucking things. And you've got to remember, we're 227. So our first generation of kids died genuinely 100 years ago. Our first child died. Unbelievable. She was born almost 200 years ago. Holy shit, that's insane. So for us to have this second wave of kids coming up is, is kind of a little bit strange. Um, here you go. You can be trained in thrift. Perfect. Right. Um, and then we've got lots of titular titles, except they're not all titular. We've apparently got Wag and Elodia. And then, uh, those, oh, okay, those are the only two ones that we actually have to worry about. So, back to our Holy Wars. What's the plan? We're going to go through Miran. We're going to go up to this sea here. What's this sea? This is the Caspian? Caspian Sea? How do I find out? Uh, Caspian Sea, there it is. Right, I thought it was right. Caspian Sea. Then from the Caspian Sea, we are going to head uh, south into Immortals. Wait, Immortals? As in the Persian Immortals. Right, that's a holy order that's apparently taken some land. God knows how. Uh, we're going to take out the Immortals. We're going to head into the Faranid. And then we're going to Great Holy War for whatever the hell this place is. Kushansha. Which I believe is the girl that Peter Baelish wanted to bone in a Game of Thrones. Shansha. So we'll take that one out next, and then that gives us, obviously, uh, an entrance into India, which is going to be our final kingdom of conquest before we get to China via this very nice province of Sama Mamata, which is the girl that came out of the TV in the ring. If not, we can always go up through, um, Mongolia? Question mark? I feel this is modern game day Mongolia, but honestly, I don't know. It doesn't matter too much. Right, so what's standing in our way then? Miran, you are first on my kill list. We have a truce with you. So, we are going to kill you. I'm already killing you. Good. Does anybody else want to join my fantastic Roman plot? Have some Roman gold and join me in Roman things. I'm, I'm all about Rome now. I've decided I'm, I'm a big fan of Rome these days. So, I'll be mentioning Rome a lot more and uh, emphasizing its importance on the world. Who are you? 16-year-old daughter with gray hair? Fair enough. You know what? Oh, speaking of which, the Merry Men of Rome. My sheriff came to me today looking... Harried and limping slightly. My lord, I fear I have grave news. A band of robbers and poachers calling themselves the Merry Men of Roma are on the loose in, for in your forest. <laughs> I have tried to find them, but alas, to no avail. They chased me out of the forest several times. The last time an arrow hit me straight in my buttocks. Both of them at once. I guess he was shot through the side of the buttock. Oh, it doesn't matter. Wahaha. <laughs> Do go on. And there we are, apparently flanked by our two um, men with sticks. As, as a wolf man, a literal werewolf enters our palace. God knows what's happening there. Um, what do we do? Ignore them and potentially gain content. Bwahaha, sorry, do go on. Gain 10 prestige and 60% chance of the Merry Men making a move. Or we set a trap. 25% chance of gaining the trait Diligent and 40% chance of them making a move. Let's set a trap. What do we think? I've had this event before, but it's a very, very rare event, I'll be honest with you. Let's set a trap for them. We actually gained the trait Diligent from that as well. That's incredible because we did have Slothful. My god, we're up to 61 learning. The smartest man alive. The harassing of a nobleman. An indignant and fuming man stormed into my great hall. Wow, could you imagine that if a single merchant wandered into the, the Roman Emperor's palace and, and shouted at him? He told me how a green-clad man had overpowered him, manhandled him, and when he tried to resist, and 
What, sorry? Oh, manhandled him when he tried to resist and taken him to their hideout? It still doesn't quite work. Where they had forced him to yield every valuable trinket he owned. Even his horse. When they stopped resisting, sorry, that, that one took me a while to process because obviously we are very attached to our glorious horse, Glitter Hoof, who's going to oversee the rest of this event. Thank you, Glitter Horse. Glitter Horse? Thank you, Glitter Horse. It's, it's very late at night, please forgive me. When he had stopped resisting, they treated him courteously and even escorted him to the edge of the forest after they had taken his valuables. He demanded that I would do something about those merry men in green. Give him some gold to send him away, or this is outrageous. Um, I assume this is outrageous as us reacting to this man demanding us to do something. Rather than us saying it's outrageous that they've taken stuff. So, um, give him some gold to send him on his way, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure what that event was trying to get at with that one. I hope that I... I hope that by this is outrageous, it wasn't suggesting that... The married men were outrageous and I just picked the wrong one. Well, I guess we'll wait and see. Who is this lady? Maxima. Maxima Lentulus. Uh, you'll get my help. I think one of our son died. Uh, did somebody say a second horse? Ha! <laughs> As you lie sleeping in your courtyard, you are suddenly awakened by the sound of hooves. You rise to see a man dismount and bow to you. He explains that he is a court physician of renowned skill and that he's left his home and travelled here from a faraway land only to serve you. You've already made up your mind though. The horse is magnificent. Join me at my court. This option is available because you have the lunatic trait. Lose 50 prestige. Horse MD gains the title court physician. Welcome. Horse MD, are you a lady? Can I marry you to Glitter Hoof? No. Bamboozled, but I will offer you a concubine in the form of, um... I mean, who is she? Is she anyone important? I want to I give him a, a, a nice, powerful concubine. Um, she'll do. Princess of Ireland? Done. There you go. She seems like a very prestigious concubine. What about... Um, who else have we got here? Anyone else? Uh, courtier Imperium? I don't really want to give him any of my courtiers. That seems a bit rude to my courtiers, to be honest with you. Uh, you may have, um, the next most fertile young lady I have in my court. She'll do. 16-year-old. Perfect. Two concubines for horse MB. And you know what? You may get a third because I'm feeling that generous. What a glitter hoop. Do you have concubines? No, I'm sorry. I failed you, my friend. Let's keep you entertained and, uh, happy. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I feel like my YouTube monetization is already as low as it could possibly get. Let's try and hang on to it desperately. There you go, Glitter Hoof and Horse MD. Let's mark Horse MD as special interest. I hope I can make him immortal as well. Boom. World Honorary Title. You will also be Caesar of Rome. <laughs> because why not? Nice. Let the conquest continue. Onwards to China. My horse. Uh, I mean, a regular, completely Roman army. What do we want to take then? Um, oh, shit. That's a little bit annoying that we can't just grab anything that's going to... Um, let me think. So, we can take that one. We can take that one. That's useless. Um, we could Great Holy War them. What is the cooldown on Great Holy War, though? Should we just do it? <laughs> should, we, should we just do it, though? Fuck it. Great Holy War for Persia. The Omens are clear in Paris. Well, Julius Augustus had declared Great Holy War on Sir Trap Merab of the Miran Sarap Satrape Sat Sat and the followers of Azura Ohura. Look, just fucking take them out. For God's sake, I don't care about their words. I don't care about their people. I, all I care about is humiliating China by making their people supplicate to a horse for, for China's... Sorry? The volcano in. I wonder where it could have struck. Terrible news from... My God, I still don't know. As a calamity of unmatched proportions has struck there. Wars of fire, lava, and ash have descended upon the unfortunate inhabitants of the region as one of the local volcanoes has erupted. Hundreds have died. Though many more have survived, there has been a massive destruction to property, crops, and livestock. It is likely that hundreds more, particularly refugees fleeing from the disaster, will die due to starvation and health effects. I pray for their souls. What a strange event. And it did absolutely nothing to alter anything. Um... You are taking a break from discussing war plans with your fellow commanders. And you decide to start chatting with your guards. Hey, shut up, I'm trying to read. He tells you, my cousin is out fighting infidels. What do I get? Guard duty. Worry not, you'll get an opportunity to kill infidels soon. Their fault. Everyone does their part, even guard duty has its honor. Or don't complain. Yeah, you know what? Their fault, their fault. What's their fault in Roman? Great question. Uh, I believe it might be the words their fault. I'll be honest, I started that sentence before I thought about what I was about to say. And, uh, and then I realized that, um, and then I realized that there's fault. Kind of Latin. It's Latin in the first place. Uh, Romans generally speak Latin. 
That's the thanks I get. What do you mean? He was a thief. I mean, cutting off his hand should be the minimum penalty. He's lucky I didn't grind him up and fit into my horse. The horses eat human flesh. You know what? Let's, let's not even Google that one. Uh, what do you want? You want a betrothal, understandable, which is probably why he sent me a betrothal. I'm going to say no. Crusade for Garamantis fails. What a surprise. This unlanded, unworshipped patriarch of a dead faith failed in his crusade. Shocker. Uh, in other news, the sky is blue and Rome is expanding. Right, can we get this over with? 83%, right? This should be over in absolutely no time. We'll just see one more province and we should be good. 87%. What is Deus Fault in Latin? I can't believe I said that. I'm going to take that one to my grave. Oh, look at that. A successful Great Holy War. What a shocker. Right. Usurp that title. Uh, usurp. Uh, that's it. Promise of media. Wait, that's all one duchy. Media minor. All right, then. Uh, the media might beg to differ, judging by... What is the oscillary? Judging by the... I don't know like sound of the satellite picture, but that doesn't make any damn sense. Pictures don't have sound. Um, let's give you... If anybody knows the lyrics to All Star, please feel free to elucidate me because I sure as hell don't. Uh, what do you want? You want my daughter, which again probably why you're sending the betrothal. I should probably get used to that by now. Who do I who do I prefer more? Um, the despot of Thrace or the despot of Mauritania? Well, neither are particularly close. Um, I will admit Thrace is a little bit closer than Morocco, though. Um, not by much. Not by much. You know what, Thrace, you've won this one. Mainly because you offered first. It's first come, first serve, first come. Um, let's go ahead. <laughs> Man, sometimes my brain works faster at 4am than it does absolutely any other time of the day. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's, let's take these boys out as well. Uh, sorry? Why no? You're just being a dick. My magister official is just being a dick. Okay, uh, why are you being a dick though? Uh, Pitney of Liege. A red person. Oh, because. Uh, okay, because we support different chariot teams. That's a good way. Let's stifle the progress of the realm because you support a different chariot team. That'll solve things. Way to be petty, Drungarius Probus the Proud. What is he anyway? Legion? Oh, weird. Hey, fuck off, console. I'm trying to read. Why does it keep opening? Um, message about another marriage. Yep, yeah, whatever. Right, um, how about now, though? Are we good? Is he, is he still going to oppose me? Let's, let's try again. Take two. Declare war. He's still being a dick. Who are these guys returning the favors to? Despot Karis the Just. Who's Despot Karis the Just? What's wrong with you? We're already busy fighting another war. Dude, we can we can fight two wars. They've got 2,000 men. My God. Careful. You know, wouldn't want to accidentally uh, annoy these boys. Okay, fine. We'll uh, try and negotiate with them because they can't be allowed to fight a war. Or oh, it's safety and to be able to enjoy part of our wealth. Chief Guasala has made it clear that which is settlers of Bodorasi within our borders. Um, I, I never understood this event. So basically we have the option to give them a random territory and then become independent. Promise them one in future. Uh, and, you know, they become independent and stay within our borders. And become a tributary. Or I say no and they go to war with me and lose. And then I still say no and lose prestige. It doesn't make any sense. Um, with two parties not finding an agreement of the nature, the negotiations are broken. War it is. Force them into keeping our tributary. No, I don't want that. I don't want war. I just want to fight the Persians. We're good. Are we, are we okay? Hey, worship the right team. What is this? Airy zone. That's cool. How do I get that? Is that like a crusader? Oh, man. We could have led some troops and actually got that for ourselves, couldn't we? Oh, I'm an idiot. All right. Um, next time we declare a... Well, any form... Hang on. What's our marshal? 13? The only way we can die is by going into war. Am I going to be this foolish? Kind of. <laughs> uh, if our marshal was better, I'd be more content with it. Oh, the, the seduction isn't working. We were already churning out shit tons of kids. I was going to say we're seduced everybody in the realm. But we're really not going to ever succeed with it. Mainly because we are possessed, uh, a possessed lunatic drunkard with zero sex appeal. Which plays into succeeding and seduction. By the time we spent... All the time seducing one woman, she'll be dead. I'm flipping to war. I want to lead troops as the immortal emperor. Um, I don't just want to wither away in my chair and die. I actually want to, you know, try and lead the troops and rally them and, and steal their staffs. Staff as in like a scepter, not as in like, um, you know, you wouldn't part a wizard with the staff. An old man with his walking stick, sorry. Silver staff is coming. Okay, great. Uh, give that to... You can say my son, but we don't really have an heir that we care about. That's my usual strategy for extra artifacts. Send it to China. 
Hey, China, how would you like... Um, <laughs> nothing, they don't want anything. Fuck you, then. How about we send him a eunuch, though? Um, this dude. He seems fairly Germanic in culture. He'll do. Have him. We good? Likes Hindus, dislikes the Byzantines. I agree. That's absolutely fine by me. And I'll request a Chinese artifact. Northern Way Calligraphy. That sounds like it could be quite useful. Let's take a look. Uh, Way Calligraphy. I lied. City Vassal Opinion plus two. Well, that's something I've never cared about and will never start to. Set war score. Thank you very much. Get out. Now we go to war with the Persian Immortals. Uh, conquest. Thank you. Stay out of my way. Oh, this is also cancelled there as well. That's pretty convenient. Having two separate units. Turns out, moving around with one giant doomstack all the time. Not the most effective method of declaring war. Right, you can have her. Last come, first serve. Change, change my strategy. Sorry? You want 5,000 gold? For what? Sorry? The polis of... I don't know what a polis is. Is that just the province? 5,000 gold? Shit. And on who, sorry? That's my own vassal, you prick. No, let it go. Um, it was probably because we were fabricating claims on these, and obviously I just declared the Great Holy War instead to try and find out what the cooldown was like on it. Okay, then. Never mind. Continue with our Holy War. Uh, what about 100%? Well, that was easy. <laughs> well, that was very straightforward. You are next on my hit list. Let's declare war and conquer. Why can't we Holy War just full stop? That'd be that'd be nice if we could do that. I guess it's just part of the religion. I don't entirely know. All right, let's bring the troops up. Might be because we're the head of the religion. Probably something to do with it. May Hera see him safely to the afterlife. I agree. Please, Hera, see this random man who I've never met before safely to the afterlife. Right, kill these people. I don't know who they are, but you're contentious and I don't like you. Uh, no, actually kill them, though. Right, and you guys might as well move up and start sieging. Somebody dies, and we've inherited a shit ton of stuff. Do we just inherit... Well, we'll usurp that. Thank you, I'll take that if you don't mind. What do we just take? Uh, Path... Path... Pathava. Right, let's give those away. Amelius, you are a very good Roman man. Look at that stewardship. Grant land title. Uh, Pathava. There we go. Um, oh, that's everything. We need some more kingdom level titles because we've seriously got way too many vassals. Our borders are also hideous. I'd like to sort of tidy up everything into the Caspian Sea as well. Just to make things look a little bit nicer. Maybe all the way around Crimea wouldn't hurt either. Uh, or all the way around the Black Sea, I should say. What is modern day Crimea? Okay. The local augur has come to your court to perform a public augoria. Bolt of lightning strikes him violently. We've done it. Well done. The gods have spoken for themselves. That's an event we've had about 600 times right now. My god. We might actually get this horse on the throne much quicker than I thought. It's going to be a lot of warfare, I won't lie. Um, but, at the rate we're going, we're almost at India. And that's our last order. That's genuinely the final obstacle to uh, to the horse king of China. County of Jerusalem has converted to the Hellenic faith. Thank you. And, of course, the religious map mode is going to be very, very important. I need to keep an eye on that as well. Um, excuse me, sir. I'd like to move into India now. Um, that wasn't any particular accent. I was just doing a silly voice. Okay, <laughs> please don't take it. YouTube, please. The monetization. Kill this man dead. Um, does he, Maybe it's because I keep saying kill in my videos. Oh, I never thought about it like that. Right, get our spy master over there. Who are we, who are we killing? This dude? This dude? Where's his capital, though? Um, that's his capital. Right, I don't know why that took me so long to figure that out. Build a spy network. Over there, please. Mr. Frumentari, Despotville, Tannis. Where are you stood? Is that heaven itself? Oh, no, he's in a tundra. Where is your capital? Spain. The classic tundra of Spain. What the fuck is going on in these portraits, honestly? Not only that, but he seems to be disappearing into the void. <laughs> My god, what have I done to this, this poor game? How is it still going? What do you want? Um, the Prince Neus of Idum and Princess uh, blah 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 of Ireland, Maria, whatever, go for it. Okay, we need counsellors, advisor. You may be my advisor because you seem like a sensible and just man. Why are you wearing a jester hat? Have I made a silly mistake? Court jester minus five. Oh, God. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I kind of like that he's got wearing a jester hat. That's fashionable in Rome. It's going to make it uh, the common trend of the court. How do we go? Mm. So, I think... Oh, shit. That's under the Western Protector, is it? That's bad. If I go that way, we're going to have to fight China anyway. If we go that way, it's all one ruler. So we're going to have to declare five simultaneous wars there. But it would be quicker than going away entirely along the top of China, though. But it would also make my borders look absolutely hideous. You know what? I'm going to go through India. Despite the fact that it's probably going to be a longer campaign and we have to fight the Western Protectorate. 
we should be okay, I think. Plus, you know, Persia's more valuable than, than step lands. So, I feel like this isn't a bad plan. So, what are we going to do in terms of claims? So, what I'm going to do then is we're going to start working on, on the top of India, starting from here. And we'll try and create a continuous line of chains all the way to wherever the hell we're going to meet them and meet it halfway somewhere. So, um, where's the closest we can get to? Ugh. We could go from there. Why not? Ah, oh, finally, I was wondering when we'd see the plague at long last, only for the, what, fifth time this campaign now? The people of Uyuboia are suffering from a frightening epidemic. So we're starting in Greece then, is it? Uh, let's take a look. Yes, there it is. The Black Death starting in right next to Athens itself. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, <laughs> low fever's back by the looks of it. The roads just aren't safe anymore. Who are we killing off? Who am I killing? Oh, we're killing uh, Sarap Shabazz of Happy Memory. Why the hell not? The bubonic plague. Zeus has abandoned us. I gave the trait depressed. Don't know why you care. I mean, you've had it and survived it multiple times now, so it doesn't matter that much. Um, ready peace for 10 years? I mean, I don't know how the hell we've just lost that. Okay, advisor, uh, Saturnius, you'll do. And what do we want? So, so this is already ours. This is already ours. This is already ours. So again, I'm not revoking vassal tiles. Keep an eye on the plague, for it will destroy the entire kingdom, and I'll have to completely rearrange vassals, although it might give me a way to rearrange vassals a bit more effectively. Um, maybe make some double kings, things like that. So let's go ahead and work on our province a little bit more, seeing as that's something I keep neglecting. Um, I don't think we need to worry about revolt risk ever, given the state of things. Might as well try and get Rome into a powerhouse before we uh, before we continue with the campaign a little bit. So tax income is pretty great. Tax income is pretty great. And tax income is pretty great, if you ask me. Okay. Um, we need ourselves a new advisor. Now, this is going to be a lot of me giving out titles constantly while this damn plague is around. Um, and it's going to slow the game down to a crawl. Even though it's going to kill off a lot of characters, it's also going to be, you know, a lot of title inheritance, changing hands, that type of thing. Let's wait and see how it goes. And we failed once again to kill this dude. This is going to be a long time, eh? Ah, good. Chorus of screaming. That's what I wanted to hear. Um, luckily that was all abroad, so I didn't really care about it too much. What about these boys? So these ones will give me tyranny. Um, is worse than your vassal plane by minus 40? Is it worth it? Ah, probably not. Let's just let him go. Go on then. You're not even worth killing for the fun of it. Off you go. Oh, he's dead. Very convenient. All we had to do was offer up a sacrifice of 42 people to ensure it. Okay then. Um, we're well, seeing as Soren's in our way either way, we might as well just go for, um, whatever's freaking closest. Farah? Why not? Um, seems a little bit pointless seeing as I should have killed off this dude instead, but that's just me being an idiot. Wait, are we... Wait, we're, we're not a... We're not a truce with this dude. Apparently he's got holdings in Baghdad? How the fuck did we... <laughs> we were missing two holdings in Baghdad. You know what, whatever. That doesn't matter too much. Right, move in, troops. Let's try and get ourselves to India before this episode ends, because that would be a great milestone to leave it at. Shit, here we go. Okay, we're inheriting titles back out now, are we? Brilliant. Um, the Diocese of Asia, so that must have been all of this. I'm going to give it to this king, so we got ourselves a double king. Plus, he hasn't got much land anyway, so that's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. Good. Um, what else we got? So, this, if this dude could die as well, then we could give that to this dude and have one big king here, rather than about six... That's actually a horse. Rather than six different multiple kingdoms. Um, oh, my God. This is, like, like, these are a mess. Like, Galatia there, and Syria, and then we've also apparently got... Asoria? I remember we took that one because obviously that was um, where we needed to form those legions. We'll go ahead and give those back to him. There you go. Should uh, consolidate power a lot. But 50 out of 48 though, really? Um, is there anything at all we can tidy up? Actually anything? No, not really. Um, Germania's a bit of a mess, but there's not much I can do about that too much. What about... Oh, shit. Who are you supposed to be under then? You're supposed to be under Vindelica Prima, which I can't make. Can I just give it to someone else? I'll give it to you. My friend, I have a gift for you. It's a vassalage. Here you go. Um, what's his province? Aquiensis? Ac sure. Um, I don't think it'll let me because he's under a different... Oh, no, we can. Perfect. Get rid of him. 49. What about this one? Uh, he's under someone different entirely, and that's the Legio Hellenica, so probably best not get rid of those guys, eh? Um, what have we got here? A single province kingdom. Really? You are why this empire has fallen apart, my friend. What about you? What's going on here? Okay, France apparently has two provinces in Egypt. Why the hell not? Um, pff, like, Africa's a bit of a mess, I'll be honest with you. Okay, well, never mind. Look, I'll deal with this after the play, because I've sorted out, and then people will just die immediately, and they'll have to do it all again anyway. 
I could use someone to train with. That's really good. A again, increasing martial is exactly what I want to do. I want us to be leading the army into China as we sack the throne and behead the emperor. That'd be so good. Another one down. Right, so the reason I killed this dude again rather than go to war with Soren is if we take this one, we grab this province, this province, then we're into India. Whereas if we attack this guy, it'd be this province, this province, then this province, then India. And I'd rather fight one small dude uh, to gain a little bit of, he of, of headway rather than the same bigger dude three times over. So we'll take you out now. Uh, conquest of, if you don't mind, I'll take Mandesh. Mandesh into your capital and siege it down. Thank you very much. Perfect. Right, get those boys back into there. Now it's time for war with Soren. Hang on. Oh, that's not a border. You prick. Oh, man, we're going to have to do, declare two wars anyway against this dude. What do we want to go for? Bamiyan and Kapil? Or do we want to go for G Gan Ganza? No, I mean, this will look nicer in terms of border. So, Bamiyan, uh, you're next on my kill list. Conquest of Bamiyan, right. So, those actually to the war goal, and those guys can work their way down. Where's his capital? It seems to be just there, if my eyes don't deceive me. The only three immortal characters in existence. Julius, Dickus, Figus, Nepos, Edun... The, the mother of, of literally hundreds of our children. And uh, and obviously eternal concubine to the emperor. And our best friend Glitterhoof the horse. Naturally. I don't know why else I expected. I was going to try and find an immortal wife or something. Seeing as our wife died and now we're over our domain limit once again. So let's see what we can find. Um, who's of the highest rank in Rome? That is a lady. It's her. Marry me lady. Marry your emperor. Thank you. I appreciate that. What the hell just happened there? Oh. Right, Tibet defrosted. Jesus, let's get the shit out of me then. Wow. What the, what the hell happened to the map? Right, okay, so we are still at war with this dude. Let's go ahead and uh, sort this one down quickly. Hey, do you want to just assault it down? Oh, no, we haven't got commanders. At this point, does it matter? Literally, no one can stop us. Oh, we're pointing Glitter who managed to refresh your again. again. Uh, let's sack him and uh, replace him. Thank you. <laughs> right, back to India with you. Uh, I need claims. Do we actually grab any in the end? Does not look like it. Okay. Uh, grab me a claim on India. What's our, what's the chance? 19% yearly? Eh. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I think by the time we get over there, it'll be too late anyway. Um, you know, we might grab one or two claims, but at that point, we'll probably already be well deep into India, so I don't think it matters too much. Alright. Um, hit that kingdom, and you go for the capital. Zeus has abandoned us. Yeah, we know. We know. Open a dialogue with the heretics. Absolutely. Available to our high learning. I feel like it's an understatement. Given that we've got 63 learning and we are but a man. No gods here. No geniuses. No no congenital traits of any stretch of the imagination, to be honest with you. Just pure man and pure learning. 57% really? Is that all we've got? 68%? What the hell are they doing? They see my Oh, get out. Um, I swear we had more war school than that just a second ago. They were going crazy. Who knows? All right. Uh, let's take this one out then. Oh, no. My war score. What a shame. They, see, they must have seen something, surely. Uh, no, they really haven't at all. Yeah, okay, that's fine then. Thank you. Hellenic gains 1% moral authority for 20 years. That puts us at approximately... Uh, approximately a ridiculous amount. Uh, what's that? 62% plus 30%, plus 25%, plus 16%, plus 4%, plus 9%, plus 50% for all the holy sites, plus 20%. I mean, that puts us at approximately 400,000%. Um, emphasis on the approximately there. It's quite high. Um, and we can also lose a shit ton of wars and still be quite high. So, um, you know, 420 and all that. Proconsul Gallius is a follower of the Greens. Gallius, I have all people I expected better from you. And you know what? I found myself a vassal I can shuffle away. Um, who should you be under? Us? Shit. Ha! <laughs> um, Carthage, I have a gift for you. It's my good friend Gallius. Uh, here you go. Transfer vassalage. Nope, because he is a jute level title fool. Um, wait, Gal, Gal, nope, because he's a Republic as well. Alright, that's not going to happen. Well, how long till this plague's gone so I can start giving out titles again? Oh, it's only in Greece? Oh, I suppose because the first one hits very deadly and then the rest just don't really do shit, they just linger. Right, okay. We'll wait for a while then. You pass by a village just in time to see the local baker punished by the local authorities for constantly cheating his customers. He's dragged around on a sleigh with the offending loaf of bread tied around his neck. Huh, how curious. And one prestige. And that's where we'll end it for today. Thank you for watching. We are a horsehair away from India. And then the the India conquest begins. My god, it's going to be close. We might just be able to do it before the series ends. Obviously on the 1st of November. When we introduce a new series. Technically October 31st. I hope I can do it in time. Because we're looking so dangerously close to not being able to here. Basically, can we get through the whole of India in the next like two episodes? Damn. 
Shout out to my top tier insane level patrons, Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thompson, Zachary Harris, Harik, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Josh Len, Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired to James Ogilvy, Escape, Jackson Woodman, and Tyler Birch for their insane tier levels of support. Thank you all very much. And to my sensible tier patrons, Nathaniel Limburg, Brandon Montoniak, Necro Finland, Felix Steele, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Nick, Noble Esquit, Lachley, Zarevan, Fecundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator, Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Sheev Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Llewellyn Thomas, Euron DeVries, Euphrates, John Coney 2 and 7, Jordan Campbell, Astro Sidney, Joseph Beer, and Chris. Thank you as well for your support. It's very generous. The series is ridiculous. And I will put a horse on China's throne, dead or alive. Uh, the, the horse, that is. A dead horse on the throne. Uh, obviously, the throne's not going to be. I'm gonna be dead. It's a throne. 